around the venue and stuff. So, see how this goes, man. Two long standing veterans to Smash uh, from the Brawl days into now. Yes, sir. And, you know, Larry also was a uh, guy like Melee player as well. So, or is a still. I know he's still is. So, here we are. Hot to game one. Larry Lever versus Mr. Arden here on Town and City. Let's see what happens here. That's going to be a good showdown. Just a little pivot grab right there to open up here. Thanks for Larry. All right, yes. Now right there gets that quick confirmed lift from the, uh, the support throw, the bouncing fish. There's a lot of bouncing fish out here, actually. And now, Ooh, Larry's going to rack it up. Yes. Well right there. So I'm trying to continue to extend that right there. He almost extended that. Even with the platform moving, he still almost got that uh, up there in time. Got to make everything work. I like these little jab combinations here. Okay, another up tilt. Ooh, looking for the up smash right there. Just a little off the mark. Had he like charge it just slightly? Definitely would have hit that. You saw the air dodge come out from Mr. R, but it was the air dodge just to get through right, the up smash. Right, I'll pick an aggressive landing option right there. Mr. R will fire it back. And what a connection there on that bouncing fish. Is just keeping him off right now. Wow, Larry, Larry oh. actually just kind of zipping past him, though. Yeah. And Larry back on stage again. I feel like Larry gets away with that, like, way more often than I'm, I'm used to. And being able to decide to be back on the stage. However, also gets a lot of those, and I'm definitely used to that right there. First top powered by GT Throne, by the way. <laughs> That's nice. That is, I just, that was a, that was a very, uh, that was a very king level up air. We are. Those feet are moving right there. Oh, Mr. Ardo, unable to make anything out of that. Four throw, yo. Get him off stage here. Yeah, a waste of time. Not much else he could do right there in that situation, being so close to the ledge. So, Mr. R, a little fade back forward there. Keep pushing Larry off stage right here, and like it, the neutral air. Nine Larry access. Extra low in it. Oh, for a minute I thought that was not going to work out in his Yeah, he kind of got clipped by the fire for yeah. a minute, so he kind of made you hold your breath a little bit. But Mr. R, that commitment paying off right there. Keeping himself alive here in this first game. Hear the goons in the crowd. Yeah. Okay, up tilt, up tilt. With the back air as well. And up the damage on him. Quick neutral. Getting those jabs to find their mark right now. Just completely locking Mr. R down on this right side. Yeah. Right right now, pretty pretty zero-esque in his gameplay right there. And oh, another one? Oh, the yes. reset. Yeah, that platform was in perfect position. So even when he missed the up air, he landed in a perfect position to punish the air dodge regardless. So great stuff, Larry Lair. Probably recognized that platform was even there. Oh, all wow. the damage and everything. I was like, oh, I got this. Yeah, you got to give an assist to that platform right there. Kind of yeah. just put him in the perfect position to succeed and get that first game. Platform sit, sitting there like chilling, and that's his dog. That's my dog. That's my dog. And that's game number one. All right. <laughs> Round number two. Let's get it. FD. All right. The stage both these guys are pretty good on. Rocking with, so I can hear any too many complaints from Larry, I'm sure. Oh, actually, turning that situation into a good school. Yeah, I got himself some, uh, of it, Oh, he got himself some stage control, but he didn't need to leave and relinquish that as Mr. R gets back. No waste of time. I like this right here, man. Look at the impression that Mr. R is now putting on the ledge here. I'm telling you, just being relentless right here on this assault. That backer could have been dangerous for that stock. Yeah, that was a double ledge back, too. Larry had a chance to punish that, but he uh, let that one go. Okay. A louder in here. <laughs> Don't treat safety to that ledge right there. See Larry trying to catch the up tilt. Yeah. Not able to find it though. Neutral layer for Mr. R right on the money there along with a down tilt. Now this second game looking terrific. Yeah, great start right here from Mr. R, as you said. I already got the 124. Not really too much added to him as well. I mean, not even close to being uh, shook by Larry Lair. However, you always know Fox and easily oh, asked him and gets one up uh, up to him. Yeah, that was a very smart option for the dare right there. You know, throw it out sometimes people were never expect it. Throw it out all the time and you start getting punished. Right, it's that sneaky option every now and then. Just bring it out to play. It's a TK proper. Okay, so it's shine. Awesome. Smart, and they're going to go super low right here. Oh, Mr. R covering so much space right there. 
Very smart right there. Not going to go for the uh, quick illusion. This time around, you know, that probably would have got sniped out by that bouncing fish. And instead, he kind of stalls it out with the fire fox. Start with the dash attack. Not enough yet. All right, I like what he's trying to do here. Every time Larry hits that ledge, he's looking for the needle to potentially snipe off the ledge. Or if he immediately lets go, you know, you lose all your visibility. So he would go needles into bouncing fish to take that stock. Very great confirmed. The down smash doesn't oh. work out in his favor, but what that up smash does. Was it planned, though? Was it planned? You, oh, you, think, he, you think he knew he was going to try to go for that yeah. punish? Yeah. I mean, he's got, I'll give him that. I mean, he has so much battle experience against somebody like Boyd, man. He knows Sheik's options right there. I think he right just tried to bait one out and, and came up lucky. Or successful, I should say. 179, man, putting in work, would not relinquish that stock and now find himself in the lead despite Mr. R's strong start. I think it's a pass. There he gets. Oh, hold up. Oh, wow. Okay, jettison to that blast zone right there. So. It's done. That blast zone so quick, almost Doc Coney was here. That. Anyway. Got us to the point. Shout out to Mr. R right here. Just bringing together some big damage. Yep. All right. Bouncing fish right off of that throw here. Still shrinking together that damage, as you said. So develop a new game right here. Despite that it starts to speed up. Despite that deficit he was facing, man, if he brought it back. Larry's still looking for these up tilts right here. Now you see Mr. R kind of waiting out, picking and choosing his way to get through those up tilts. Going back there, there. Oh, wow, okay, the chase that. down. Yeah, so good. Just cover that space right there. You saw Mr. R trying to escape with the... Bouncing fish up top. Yeah. Larry with other ideas right now. Okay, and there it is, man. I'm denying him access back to the stage just yet with that back air. Finally gets back home, but I'd have to take a lot of damage and it, make it an even game. Larry Lur, slowly but surely bringing himself back here. He knows he's one good hit away from Oh, my God. He just there did it. It is. That was a just, man. That was a Nike up smash if I ain't never seen it. Oh my, he just I did mean, it. This is the right venue to do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> he set that man flying right now. 2-0 lead for Larry. Oh, he, he felt that one. That, that was that was definitely like oh. a, that was an instinct. He, he felt that Larry, he felt that he was going to drop kill. Maybe expecting uh, Mr. R to probably like jump back or something. Or try to avoid a grab. He just did it. So the Roy is coming out. If, Epi Saga is in uh, everyone's blood right now. If you've been keeping up, man, you know, you know Mr. R has been practicing that Roy a lot. Believes this character is not as bad as people would like you to believe. And even, I don't even think the stream can handle it right now. Man. We ain't even trying to give a signal for this uh, potential beatdown we're about to see. But back to FD we go. The Roy is out to play. Let's see how Larry responds to this one. All right. All right, up to right there. Just stringing, yeah. them, stringing them together. Already got him at 62% here. Nice Tomahawk right there. I mean, I, again, I mean, this, this is a character oh, he's been working on, but a very unfused and kind of, I won't say underrated character, but a rated very little character. Not, not too much uh, data supporting the character being any better, but, you know. I mean, like I said, it is pretty strong, though. Yeah. I will give him that. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm just hard to, you oh. know, believes he's not as bad as people would yeah. uh, have you believe. And looking to just kind of prove that right now, coming through nice slicing and dicing right here. I like he's trying to get him with a, uh, I'll say a little bit of a bait right there with that flair blade. It's like, oh, let me do this quick, roll back, and try to catch him as he tries to sit past me. And as we get clipped in the top of the head. So I'm surely bring himself back in here, though. 78%, pretty respectable. Oh, and the drift back as well. Uh oh drift. Ooh, and then able to turn that around to a forward tilt right there. Larry yeah. off the illusion finds the up air now. Yeah. Finds himself one stock away here from advancing the two losers semis. They start immediately coming down. He's putting some fire on that blade. Uh, so we do have a, a chant out in the crowd also with the Roy's our boy, but we're trying to see if that's actually true. Now he's trying to get this stock off as quick as possible, but it's looking a little difficult. Seeing that his sword, you know, uh, doesn't function as, as that great of a sword when it comes to those weak hitboxes on the outside. Yeah, so he has to get in there. Oh, he's trying to end it right there. Star being backed into a corner right now. He's trying to escape looking for these options here. Larry trying to keep him shut down. Nice. And then coming off the top right there. I don't think. Didn't, he didn't have enough right there for the, uh, for the confirmed stock, however. 
That is a nice little, uh, you know, little follow up that he has off the jab. Jab into a B. And because it hits off the ground, it's actually way stronger. If you're right in the air, you know, it loses a lot of its knockback and stuff like that. So. Larry Lair, though. Nonetheless, man, I mean, Larry's just all over him from the jump right now. Trying to set him up right there. Larry just falling into nothing. Yeah. So I'll probably look at that percent before he decided not to go for that up throw. Roy does have an up throw. He actually, wow. tried, I think he tried an F smash with the hitbox of the leg. Yeah, like caught when, him. when he went to start it up. Yeah. Yeah, Larry is running away with this one. The Roy selection not looking too good for our hero. He needs one up there right here to at least give himself back to the game. Larry landed on his shield, and he thought it was a cross-up, but he, it actually I wasn't. And Larry yeah. with the deep drop zone. He already knew, man. He's like, he scouted that out, knew he was going super low right there, just followed him down. Not even going to give him a chance to think about initiating that up B, and that'll be the game 3-0 for Larry. Yeah. And that'll end Mr. R's run in uh, uh, 